Hetherington in a Cessna 180, uh, 182, correct? Andrew Paltry next. We've seen Andrew quite a bit practicing. He's in a 1958 Cessna 182B. Andrew Paltry, give it up. Waiting on something. Here he goes. Notice if you don't have your tail the way that the tail draggers do, you have to rely a lot more on flaps. You'll see the pilots dump the flaps to get that lift pop off into ground effect. Here's my good buddy, Bobby Kerr. Spent the day with him today. His father and mother met here at Sun and Fun. That's a 1996 mall. Really nice sightseeing aircraft. See them a lot here in the Lee Islands. He's already got some flaps in, short takeoff. Just nursed it off the ground again. That's a, that's technically the light touring class, so a little bit of a different class, a little bit less power typically than the heavy touring. That was a respectable distance, though, it looked. Absolutely. Let me hit you up with some distances, everyone. So Warren was off in 141. That was the green and polished Cessna 180. Sheldon, 335 in the 182, followed by Andrew, 199 in the 182. And I'm just waiting on Bobby's score to 224 for Bobby. And I'm told that uh, Bobby Kerr's parents are cheering him on down at the start line down there. They've been cheering him on. It's really nice to have your parents looking at you. Absolutely. Speaking of having people looking at us, I should talk about our sponsors for a second. How's that for a segue? Let's do that. All right. First of all, let's talk about Aviat Aircraft. Aviat Aircraft is where luxury aircraft and backcountry meet. That's where you'll find Aviat Huskies. Many manufacturers claim to have a large mission profile, but only Husky can truly deliver. Come meet America's favorite tail dragger. The Aviat Husky is faster, it's stronger, and it's more. What about Acme Aero? Let's talk about Acme Aero. Acme, Aero's fa Acme Aero Fab's focus is to provide products to make your aircraft safer, lighter, and perform better overall. Watching these aircraft today, Acme Aero does a fantastic job at it. Come check out Acme Aero at the North Exhibits 82 and 83. Now, if I could direct your attention to the left, you'll see Warren in the shiny 180. And that's a scratch for Warren. While we're talking sponsors, how about AirTech Coatings? AirTech Coatings, that's since 1981. AirTech Coatings have been revolutionizing aircraft paint using polyurethane technology. AirTech Coatings offer the aircraft owner advantages of inherent toughness and flexibility, fire resistance, chemical resistance, and that great polyurethane wet look. AirTech Coatings will make your paint fly. Speaking of flying, Oh, he made it. That was Sheldon Hetherington. In the Cessna 182. Get it stopped, Sheldon. I think he rolled out a little farther than he wanted to there, Ryan. Definitely looked that way. Remember, these, these touring aircraft have a lot more weight than the Bush and the light experimental classes, so heavy on the brakes. This should be Andrew Paltry, shouldn't it? Andrew Paltry, 1958 Cessna 182. Andrew uh, had a lot of uh, dramatic, not dramatic, he had some good uh, drop-in approaches yesterday. I think he's hoping to smooth them out today. That's a good one. He's in. Yeah, he's in. He's in. Heavy on the brakes. You see that even in a, in a nose dragger, he's got the yoke full back, trying to keep aerodynamic braking working for him. Andrew had a lot of uh, cycles the other day. He's practicing quite a bit with uh, Jaden Newman and uh, Levi. They really have been practicing a lot this week to get ready for this demonstration here, Ryan. Speaking of practicing the demonstration here, Bobby Kerr told me that he has, I don't know, a couple, maybe 150 hours, and 100 of it has been in the traffic pattern. What do you know? It's a 1996 mall. Just over the line. He's in. 
He's hitting the brakes. That's pretty respectable as well. That's a 1996 got some, mall. Got some, uh, got some cheers on that one. I think he deserves it. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Mall, of course, famous for the uh, the ad back in the day of the mall flying out of the hangar. I don't know if you could get away with that today. Probably not. We're getting into the next category, which is the light experimental light sport category, and we've got Joe, John Humbird, sorry, Joe Humbird in the Zenith coming up. Yeah, John Humbert in the Zenith. This is the one that might beat bitch every once in a while, powered by UL Power. UL, UL Power actually has a booth here, booth number six. Sorry, number five, booth number five, UL Power, has a booth here at Paradise City, Sun and Fun 2021, we're right here. Down, on the crowd line, right? That's off of one. What, so yep, John's getting the ready, down, down, uh, the last one And this is the loud class, folks. This is the class where things are going to get a little bit louder. Uh, right behind the kit box. One where you really need your yeah, ears plugged up is the number 44 machine. That's pretty much the favorite. Can, That's uh, Steve Henry. The crowd Yesterday, he pretty the much took the show the crowd. with extremely short takeoff and landings, really wowing the crowd here at Paradise City Runway here at Lakeland Linder Airport. We've got the parade of returns coming down right now. You see each of these aircraft taxiing slowly in front of us. We got the, the super cut. Charlie flight guy needs got to take the run right out. And the swamp uh, boss are all over as you need to. Yesterday I was saying we need to uh, have a class that's just aircraft named after monsters. Hey, Alpha One, make so a you can only, you can only compete runway. if you've got go Bigfoot, right the runway, Swamp Monster. Are you, are you talking about and then go down and do the, uh, the left 180 English to come teacher. back in line. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I'm <laughs> following. Straight ahead onto the runway, Alpha One. I'm just impressed that you remember that. Go as far as you can, then make a left one. This is where it gets exciting, the light experimental. John Humbert in the Zenith. Gary Schmidt, Chris Greenwan, Jaden Newman, the 18-year-old female, Steve Henry, Levi Nugas, and Frank Mann all in this light experimental category. This is where it really gets loud, as Ryan said. You're going to see some impressive verticals. When you're able... Just a moment. Make a left turn and a left turn back on the taxiway to face it. The wind is still wavering a little bit, but it is mostly down the runway, so it do, it is to the advantage of the pilots. It's not crosswind. He gives us a beep and he's off. Whoa! What was that? Eighty-five feet? I don't know. Was that seven feet? I don't know. Let's find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. I know. I'm just getting excited. We'll go to the scorecard and see what that says. I think what's it, 70, you were close, 77 feet for John Humbert. Is this what Price is right? I can guess, I can guess the weight too. <laughs> Here's a just super stall, just aircraft super stall, Jerry Schmidt. Gary Schmidt. Dropping that tail down, huge vertical there. I'll tell you, everybody likes it when you get that nice angled attack. Climb right up out of view. Next up is uh, Chris Grewan, another super stole. Another really impressive showing. That practice that you're talking about really paid off for them today. Well, that's right. And Just Aircraft has a booth LP20 here at Paradise City Sun and Fun 2021, Lakeland Linder Airport. So Gary Schmidt in the first super stole was 154 feet, and Chris. Two feet shorter, 152. This is what a lot of people came to see, Jaden Newman. i tell you, that's why Jaden Newman is my favorite. She's the 18-year-old female that's only been flying super stole, been flying uh, stole for six months. Yeah, like almost nothing. Again, flying Put your jet. fingers in yours, everybody. Oh, yeah, fingers here you go. It's going to get a little stupid loud in a minute. It gets loud. This is Steve Henry in the WildWest.com Highlander. So it's nice of Steve to bring his helicopter. And, <laughs> and you can see why he's a cloud, crowd favorite. Not only does he leap off of the ground in an extremely short distance, but you can actually see him at the controls as there are no doors to obscure your view. So really I wanna, exciting. I, I've never seen a number this low in the time I've been doing this. 28 feet for Steve Henry. 
Here comes Pitt. Levi Nogus. And the Kid Fox. You might Another respectable show. Sorry, Paul, go ahead. 26 feet. 26 feet for Steve Henry's launch. Ryan just said over the noise of the engine that that's pretty, that's pretty good, isn't it, Ryan? I've never seen anything like that. that was Steve Henry was there uh, just short of 30 feet. And uh, Jaden, we we're all very impressed with that takeoff, was 52 feet. So nothing to I, I, I've said it every night. I'm going to say it again in a minute. Here comes Frank Mann. Nice. That's a Just Aircraft, Just Aircraft Highlander. And they're in booth 20 here after the show if you want to go check them out. Booth 20 here at Paradise City Sun and Fun 2021, Lakeland Linder Airport. It's a beautiful day. Fantastic day. And National I feel like Stoll. it's such a fantastic day. It would be a fantastic time to talk about our sponsors some more. I think we should. Who's up next? Lad Gardner Aviation Insurance. If you're looking for aviation insurance, you should look no further than Lad Gardner Aviation Insurance. He's got an extensive team of professional aviators. They're going to give you the attention you deserve. Lad Gardner Avi Aviation Insurance is aviation protected. Let's also talk about Gulf Coast Avionics. That's since 1984. Gulf Coast Avionics has been leading supplier of avionics instruments and pilot supplies worldwide. You can visit Gulf Coast Avionics in Hangar D, booth 3033, where you're sure to find all your avionics and pilot supplies at an unbeatable price. Here comes John Humbird. In the zenith. He's stretching it out pretty good there, Ryan. Getting a little bit of sink. High angle of attack, but he oh, made it. Oh, nice. Good. Got those wheels locked up. And that's UL Power, Zenith. That's booth five if you guys want to check it out. UL Power in booth five. John's takeoff was 77. We'll see what the landing was. No landing. Could be a pretty good combined score. 82. 82. 82. So someone who's better at mental math than me can... Uh, Add those together. Miss Dingus would not be proud of you. It's a miracle I'm a pilot at all with how bad I'm at math. Here we go. Super stole coming in. <laughs> Gary Schmidt. Nice. Nice landing, though. I'll tell you that. That landing was almost shorter than Gary's beard. Does Gary have a beard? A impressive one. An impressive beard. He's got a man beard. Chris Grewan coming up next. Chris Grewan, we see him out there in the white and silver Just Aircraft Super Stoll. A little bit higher an approach than Gary had. It looks good, though. It looks good. Looks like he's going to make it over the line. Oh, oh it's a scratch. What do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down, everybody. Uh, they, they know. They know. They wasn't even close enough to call. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like Caesar. Yep, exactly. I guess we're looking for Jaden to come in now. That's Jaden Newman, the 18-year-old. She's one of my favorites. She had a very good launch just a moment ago. Let's see if she can stretch this out. Wiggle a little bit in the rotor over the trees there. So she took off almost shorter than an F-14 Tomcat Stretch is long. It Stretching it out. Oh, it's a scratch. Oh. She's not going to be happy about it. Super competitive. Oh. And I keep joking about that. She's so tiny. We interviewed her earlier in the week. She's so tiny that I believe the only way can she, she can see over the cowling is to sit on a few phone books. And a lot of people say, well, what's a phone book? But we used to get them back in the old days anyway. But, but she's an excellent pilot. She's only been flying for uh, six months in the stole. Yeah, she's, she's an up-and-comer, totally impressing everybody. Here comes, speaking of impressing everybody, Steve Henry at, Wild West Highlander. That's wildwestaviation.com. Oh, notice that he's got everything locked up. Let's see. Definitely less than 75 feet. I think he's happy about it. I love it how you can see him actually work the controls. Isn't that great, everybody, that you can see how he can actually control a thing? So do you want to guess, Paul? You want to guess? My guess is that he stopped that in 71 feet. 73. Oh, Here's the kid facts, Levi. Kid Fox, of course, kind of renowned as one of the aircraft with the uh, flapperons instead of the standard aileron flap mix. Helps with low speed controllability. That's and Levi Nugas. And to your left, Frank Mann, new tonight. Just got in yesterday. And a scratch for Frank. 
want to point out Frank's uh, Paul. If you can see the kind of like playing card, there. Yes. It's uh, an ace, and that's because Frank's dad used to call him Ace when he was a kid. His dad was a uh, Vietnam aviator flew Mohawks. Interesting. And they called the kid Ace. Called him, yeah, predictably maybe. <laughs> Had high hopes for him, didn't he? Well, look at it. Here he is today. Here he is today. So I guess we're going back to the top. We're going back to the Bush Air Experimental class. This would be John Young in the Aviat Husky, correct? Correct. John Young, Aviat Husky. Also, you might recognize him from Arkin Stoll. He's one of the people that helps put that on. Friend of National Stoll. He's getting ready to go. I think he's waiting for the parade of aircraft to come down. Everybody gets to check out, in this case here, the aluminum one. This is Warren Gobilar, which is that 1955 Cessna that takes a whole crew to clean Thing's beautiful, isn't it? I can see myself. <laughs> I asked Warren last night, how long does it take you to polish your airplane? And he just laughed. It's going to take a whole bunch, that's for sure. And I'll give you further from there. Next walking, coming by us right now. That's Sheldon Hetherington. Andrew Patry in the 182. And that's a 1958 Cessna, by the way. 1958, 182. And last but certainly not least, Bobby Kerr in the mall. I'm just happy to see the GoPros I lent him are still on the struts today. That is a good thing because you want to take them home, don't you? I really, really do. That's right. It's a lot of money. Here goes John. Let's see if John can beat his takeoff from last time. Last time he took off at 175 feet. Real quick, there's a Marine Jeep that's Mississippi tag. It's going to be towed in the next 10 minutes. If you've got a Marine you're Jeep, the, runway, the Mississippi going tag, it's going to be towed. Continue to on the sideline. Get it moved. You have my permission to go and do that. Delta 2, go. Amir Bayani. Charlie nice. Flight, continue. Uh, Bravo Amir. Flight. Follow, That's follow the one. Bob of Amir. Next up Warren, is John Wisdom. Warren, you make a left 180, come back on the taxiway, so and park short of the, the crowd. Here. John Young's takeoff was 216 feet, considerably longer than his first one. Mother of, a Mother of all Cubs never, never Bravo, ceases to disappoint with those leading edge slats. Mother of all Cubs. Amir Bayani's takeoff, if you're keeping score at home, 140 feet. We'll see what John Wisdom did in Moac. Whoa -ho -ho! He's not messing around today. That was very impressive, Ryan. Jay Stanford in the JS Super Cub. Here comes Jay Jolly in the Carbon Cubs, Bigfoot. Also, the doors are removed so you can actually see him at the controls. Tails already up, stick full back. He's off. Maybe about 118 on that one, who knows? We'll see, but we were. if you're wondering about Jay Stanford's takeoff, you wanna guess? Uh, Jay Stanford, I could tell you right now. 61 feet. Here's Tony Zorn. He's off. That's a 1976 Woody Pusher. Love the triple tail wheel on that. You can check out Tony Zorn on YouTube. Just give it a go. Googly Google for Swamp Monster. And how about a Carbon Cub, a 2020 Carbon Cub on floats here in competition today. A lot of power on those Carbon Cubs. You can see all the uh, rudder they had to boot in for the torque. That's Chuck Kingberger in that carbon cub you just saw. Pretty impressive if you consider how heavy those floats are hanging on the bottom. I'm sorry, that's Ben Anderson. In that the was carbon. Ben Anderson, ben correct. Anderson. Chuck Kingberger this now in the Chuck carbon Kingberger. cub. I got kind of lost in the excitement. <laughs> I am totally lost all the time in the Unbelievable. Excitement. Ah, 
Oh, now that, that was, was nice. incredible. Easily less than 100. Well, that was nice. I'll tell you what, the raw display of horsepower and aerodynamics and pilot skill is unbelievable. On display here at the Husky National Stoll Demonstration at Lakeland Linder Airport. That's Sun and Fun, Paradise City, 2021. That's uh, 107 feet with Chuck's landing there, and I'm going to take a quick moment to talk about a few more of our sponsored American Legend Aircraft. Couldn't do it without them. American Legend Aircraft is building the most in innovative and advanced Cubs today. There's only one true original. Realize your dreams with American Legend Aircraft. And, of course, we can't forget our local Cub Crafters dealers. You should come see the lineup at Sun and Fun Cub Crafters booth. Meet your local dealers at Southern Cubs, SWT Aviation, and Boomerang Air. Here comes John Young. A little bit of float there. He's not going to be super pleased. He's, he's not even stopping. He's not even stopping. They know. They know when they know. And then pull in behind. We'll get you back to parking when we can. Well, he wanted to save his brakes, Ryan. That's what I understand. You know, I should ask them how many brakes they go through a year. It's probably a lot. Probably. Here comes Amir Bayani in the Super Cub. Yeah, we've only got uh, 12 minutes. Floated in nice. Excellent. It's going to get that stopped about the 160-foot mark, it looks like. I think I need to buy a tail dragger just so I can do the uh, taxi around with the tail up thing. Here comes Moak. John Wisdom. It's good. Getting those brakes in. About 175 feet or so, wouldn't you think? We'll see what it comes up with. Amir was in at 159. We'll see what John did. High and to your right is Jay Stanford. Jay's takeoff, as a reminder, 61 feet. Very competitive. Excellent. Do you have any scores for us there, Ryan? So Jay Stanford was in at 101. So about cumulatively about the same as his first round with 60, 97, and 61, and 101. Here comes Bigfoot. Jay Jolly. If I'm not mistaken, we might have been able to hear his stall warn out that open door just then. I, it was at her phone ringing behind me. I'm not sure which. Here comes Swamp Monster. 1976, Woody Pusher, Tony Zorn in the Swamp Monster. He's over the line. I love the split flaps. I love the uh, speed break on the bottom of it. And uh, you can pull alongside the big foot to drop the runway. Tony Zorn was 201 feet on that landing. Here comes our friend, the 2020 Carbon Cup with Ben Anderson. Nice. When's the last time you saw an amphibian here at a national stole demonstration? In December, we had an air cam on floats. I bet it did well. It did well, but mostly it was just impressive because it was huge. It just looked so immense. We'll get Ben Anderson score in a second. Here comes Chuck Kingberger. Carbon Cup. Floating it in. Charlie, one, two, three, 
Nice. Excellent, excellent. Get it stopped, Chuck. There we go. About a 40 feet or something like that. Oh, that's beautiful for Chuck Kingberger. He should really raise in the score on that one. So his first landing was 100 feet. We'll see how he did this time. And I definitely heard the stall warning horn on that one. Folks, if you're down at the by the line there, listen for that with the aircraft with the uh, door open. It's pretty great. 126 feet for Chuck as we move back to the touring class. Warren Gobular in the 1955 Cessna, that beautiful aluminum-skinned aircraft. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Of course, I have to say nice things about Warren because he said he likes my NASA hat. I like his airplane better. <laughs> me, me too. I'll trade him. I'll trade him the hat for the plane. You'd probably have to add a few zeros. I asked Warren if he could only have one aircraft in his entire life, what would it be? Cessna 180. Uh, can I have the F-15 Eagle? I Yeah, I'll sign the check tomorrow. That sounds good. We got the parade of airplanes coming back from the other end. Just aircraft. I see the beard now. You're yeah, right. That's a he, great beard. He on does that, have an impressive beard. No doubt about it. Excellent job. I'm enjoying the the little sub competition between these two super stoles. The just and aircraft super stole in booth 20 here at our show. Here's Jaden in the Acme Arrow. Yay, Jaden. See, she's sitting up high. She's even holding on to the bar so she can get a better view. And, of course, Steve Henry. Oh, Steve Henry's the, filming us. Everybody wave the at Steve. Machine. Yay, Steve Henry. There, we're going to be on YouTube. I've heard a rumor that some of the ladies call him Studley Steve. That's what I hear. I don't even, I don't even, I don't know. That's new. That's news to me. That's what I heard him say last night. Ladies were saying that. There's Levi in his Kid Fox. Levi in the Kid Fox. And last but certainly not least, Frank Mann in uh, the Flying Ace. Tribute to his father, the Vietnam Aviator. Here we go, Warren's going for it. That airplane probably weighs two to three times some of the light sport competitors. This is the so, touring class, so these aircraft are gonna be heavier. You got the Cessna 180s, 182s, and them all in this category, in the touring category. So let's talk about Warren's takeoff just then, 130 feet, so he improved by 11 feet over the last round. But he did scratch the landing last time. Here's Sheldon Hetherington. Getting that tie-down ring dangerously close to the turf, which I love. Followed by Andrew Poultry. Andrew's in a 1958 Cessna 182. He's been practicing quite a bit this week, Ryan. I think he did touch the tail on that one. Here he goes. It came close. It came close. So let's talk about takeoffs for a second. Warren Grobelar, 130 feet, so improved. Sheldon Hetherington, 319, an improvement. Here comes Bobby Kerr. This is the mall. 1996 mall. Whoa, no, there we go, nice. buddy. That, that was, was nice. very nice. You'll notice that technique right where the, the pilots will drop flaps. It's to get a little burst of lift to get them off in the ground effect, get them free of the, the friction from the ground. Well, I'll tell you what, we really appreciate all the crowd coming out and supporting National Stoll. Husky National Stoll demonstrations here at Lake Linda Airport. Paradise City, we have this flying every single year. Almost. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Last year was canceled. Too soon? That was way too soon. It's still a sore subject here. Well, uh, what I appreciate is that my wristband says 2020, so it feels like we never missed one. You know, I didn't even notice that. Mine actually says that too. But we'll pretend like it's today in 2021. But here at Lakeland Linder Airport, Sun and Fun, Paradise City, 2021, we're having a great time. We've got a number of exhibitors here. We've got lots and lots of forums, and we invite everybody to 
Join John Moody tomorrow morning at 1030 for the forum that he's going to give. He is the father of ultralights here in the United States. And we urge everybody. He's a great grandfather now, so everybody urge urge to come on out and check out the forum. And who do we have coming up, Ryan? So here comes Warren Grobelar in the 180. Knows he's uh, got a pretty good stabilized approach there. Slightly behind the power curve. That's okay. And he's on the board. Now he's just got to get it stopped. Nice. That's nice. Less than 200. About 175 or so. And by the way, everyone, Warren told me he watches these live streams after the fact so he can learn from his performance. So he can hear your, he'll be hearing you, your applause. I think we got a go around situation here. That's Sheldon Harrington. Just wasn't looking right for Sheldon. Of course, made the, the great and safe choice to go around. What's that song? You can always go around. So explain to the crowd what happens in that case there, Ryan. You know, that's the first time I've experienced that, and I'm not sure, but I'll find out for you. Let's go to the officials and ask that question. Maybe we can get an answer to that up here in the peanut section. The word from the officials is that go-arounds are just fine because they want to encourage go-arounds and safety. Here's so Jaden Newman. So another, another chance for him. Here comes Jaden. Working that spring gear. It's not about being gentle, it's about being short. Andrew Paltry. But, but let's talk about distances here. So Warren was 191 with his landing. Sheldon's coming around. Andrew Patry was in at 258 feet, so slightly longer than his first attempt but his takeoff was considerably shorter. Here comes Bobby Kerr. Here's the mall again. Oh. Do you agree, everybody? Thumbs yeah. up, thumbs down. You can hear the groans. I see some thumbs up. You yeah. say, yeah, that was a scratch. Some people want to give it to him. That was, that was a, a nice effort, though. Really nice landing anyway. He can definitely reuse the equipment. Yeah, if you can, if you can use it again, you're good to go. So I guess the go-around will be coming back, and here we go. Yeah, so here comes Sheldon Hetherington. We, again, appreciate that safe choice. Notice he's definitely a little bit lower. Nice and stabilized approach. Getting a little bit of sink, applying that pressure. That's That was an incredibly gentle landing. I don't know if I've ever landed that gently. We've heard about some of your landings, Ryan. Well, I guess my reputation from Milwaukee, Wisconsin precedes me. Here comes John Humber getting ready on the line in that Zenith 701. This is the light experimental category, the different classification of aircraft, Ryan. That's right. So these aircraft are going to be considerably lighter. Make sure to wave, folks. Wave to the Bush pilots as they come by. Give him a round of applause. Say, hey, Amir, I heard your airplane wasn't a vagabond, and we're sorry. And John Wisdom behind him. He's, he's happy today. John Wisdom waving. Mother of all cubs. You can see uh, very specific. It's got the gun cases on the struts. Also, you notice there's some hinges on the back of that turtle deck. It can actually open up and receive a litter patient. Here's Jay Stanford. G Jay Stanford. There you go. Hey, Jay. Big smile from Jay. Jay told me a story last night about you fished Warren's kids out of the ocean once, so thanks for that also. Here's Jay Jolly and Bigfoot. Big smile. He's filming us, too. Hey, Jay Jolly. Tony Zorn and Swamp Monster. Swamp Monster. I love the paint job. Very colorful. I love that he's got the Vimeo address on there. Swamp Monster plus Shock Monster equals bad to the bone. B -b -b bad bad to the bone. And, of course, we can't forget Ben Anderson and the Carbon Cub on floats, which I think is just super cool. That is really something to see. And Chuck Kinberger and his Carbon Cub. Impressive scores for Chuck. And I'll tell you what, I just love those. 
21 inch tundra tires on that carbon cub that is really something to see isn't it though no, they're not small here goes john oh Whoa, whoa, whoa. He is not messing around. And in case you're wondering, of course, we measure from, if there's a bounce, like there was a slight bounce there, we measure from the second departure from the earth. Gary Schmidt, Just Aircraft Super Soul, booth 20 here at Paradise City. Heavy on the flaps. He's up and away. We'll see what happens between these two, between Gary Schmidt and Chris Grewan, the two <laughs> superstars. It's been very close. Been very close. Yeah, let's within feet of each other last time. Very clean. I should clarify their takeoffs were within feet of each other. Uh, Chris did scratch the landing next time. Here's Jaden, 18-year-old Jaden, the 2009 Cub Crafter. She's something to watch, I'll tell you what, guys. Whoa! Whoa! Take that, Steve Henry, take that. Judges are deliberating on that one. All right, everybody, remember, this one's going to get loud. We'll see what Jaden did on that takeoff in a minute. It's that never gets old. It's neck and neck between Steve and Jaden. Sort of. Uh, <laughs> Jaden was very impressively off in 74 feet. That takeoff from Steve Henry was 29 feet. Uh, it's very close between Jaden and Steve. She's the only one who can give him a run for <laughs> her mo his money. That's true. Here's Levi and the Kid Fox. Very respectable showing for Levi and... I guess the other one, John would be upset if I, John is also scoring in those single digits or double digit uh, takeoffs. Levi Nugas in that kit fox. That's 97 feet for Levi. That's good. Frank Mann up now. I'll tell you what, this is the light experimental and light sport category. They continue to impress. Really, really aggressive and competitive. There's some talk in the uh, National Stole leadership about separating this class a little bit out. So when you have aircraft like Steve Henry competing against in this class, you could also be flying a J3 Cub, which I would love to see a bunch of J3s competing. That would be perfect and fun for this. Uh, but it's not not really fair to have a 65 horse, maybe 85 horse J3 trying to compete against someone like Jaden or someone like Steve. So that may be something you see in the future. Maybe a different category based on horsepower and weight. Yeah, they may break it out by horsepower and weight, or they may break it out just based on experimental and, and certified light sport. Well, I'll tell you what, I can't wait. It looks like they're coming back now. I guess the first one back would be John Humbert. John Humbert in the Zenith 701. It's getting just dark enough you can actually see their landing lights very well now. Love that wigwag function. Look at the pretty lights. I'm like a moth to the flame. Pretty lights. Hanging, oh my. Uh, they say it's there. good. They say it's good, that was amazing. John Humbert in the UL powered Zenith. He hung that thing out 20 yards or more to slip in for a score. He stopped pretty quick too, didn't he there, Ryan? He stopped great, so that was a landing of 96 feet to follow up his takeoff of 91 feet. John Humbert coming up in the rankings. Here's Gary Schmidt. Excellent. Just aircraft. 
Super Stall. Booth 20 here at Paradise City if you want to see what they have at Just Aircraft. Super Stall. Booth 20 at Paradise City. Here comes Chris Grewan and another Super Stall. Love those massive shocks on these aircraft. That was good. That performance gained a round of applause from the crowd. There you go. I like it. That's what I'm talking about. I was getting worried they fell asleep over there. That's right. It's happening right here at Lake Linlander Airport. The Husky stole national. Here comes Jaden Newman. She's got, I know she's going to be frustrated with that scratch the first round. Even if it is just a demo right now, she's holding it off, holding it off, holding it off, holding it off, holding it off. Oh! She did it. She did it. 18 year old Jaden Newman, that 2009 Cub Crafters. What a performance here tonight. Basically holding it off two inches, three inches off the ground that entire time is incredible. Very, very impressive. That's why all the boys are afraid of her. 128 feet that landing for Jaden. Here comes Steve Henry in that Wild West Aviation.com Highlander, Just Aircraft Highlander. He's floating it in too, isn't he, Ryan? Floating it in behind that power curve. They say it's That's good. Him. Whoa. I think he's happy with that one. Impressive performance after impressive performance. That's what you get here at the Husky National Stole demonstration here at Lake Linlander Airport. Sun and fun, Paradise City, 2021. 29-foot takeoff for Steve Henry, followed by a hold your breath. 52-foot landing. Wow. Here comes Levi in the Kit Fox. A little extra speed for Levi on that one, but I wonder if everything would look fast after Steve and Jaden. Yeah, those are some pretty competitive individuals, aren't they? My favorite thing about that Kit Fox is that you know it's a Kit Fox because it says Kit Fox on it. Yeah, I can't. even I can't miss that call. <laughs> So that was Levi Nogus with a 183-foot landing. Here comes Frank Mann. Just Highlander. And that's, a scratch for that's Frank. That's going to be a scratch. That's too bad. We were hoping he would uh, be able to land that one in and move up in the standings a little bit. Frank's at a little bit of a disadvantage to the other competitors today because he is just competing for the first time. So he's got to get used to the airfield again. He's got to get used to the weather. Obviously, we had a switch in wind today. Affected everybody, but Frank's... Frank's war other everyone else has had a couple rounds, a couple nights, really, to get used to the to the demonstration, and uh, so he's coming in fresh. Everybody, give it up for the parade! Here they go. You can wave at your favorite pilot as they come by the grandstands here. Warren, Grobelar in the Cessna 180, Sheldon Hetherington in the 182, Andrew Patry in the next 182. And Bobby Kerr, 20-year-old audio engineering student. In the mall. That's a 1996 mall. So there you have it. That was the touring class. Excellent performances. And I think we're going to see some. We'll see our, if our friends, the uh, light experiment, are going to taxi back or not. Looks like they're holding. John Young and the Husky. Lucky to get a third round off tonight. That beautiful sunset, that sun and fun sunset starting to starting to happen for us. Here's Amir Bayani. That that landing for John Young was 137 feet. Or a takeoff, excuse me. Very impressive performance by Amir in his uh, Boeing 737. 
<laughs> I'm just going to start saying wrong aircraft every time because I got it wrong for two nights in a row. Here's Moak at the line. John Wisdom. Just a little over 100. That's... Here comes Jay Stanford. Jay Stanford takeoffs have been super impressive so far tonight. 60 and 61 feet, respectively. And the JS Super Cup. Oh, wow. I think that was under 75 feet, Ryan. We'll wait for the number to come in. My guess is less than 75 feet on that one. That was something else, wasn't it? 63 feet. So you want to talk about consistency. Jay Jolly and Bigfoot. I want to talk about Jay Stanford's uh, takeoffs there. All in the 60s, we had a light experimental aircraft not even, not even taking off that, that aggressively. There goes Tony Zorn and Swamp Monster. Notice the, the triple tail wheel on that. I'll have to ask him about that at dinner tonight. You mean they actually feed you, Ryan? Uh, once a day. They do, yeah. They take really good care of me. <laughs> Chuck Kinberger almost vertical there. That carbon cub, that's impressive. Uh, I'm glad to see him doing his best helicopter Helicopter impression there. And here's Ben Anderson in the uh, 2020 Carbon Come On Flukes. You done any float flying, Paul? No, I've not done any float flying. Me in neither. Fact, I try to stay away from the water unless I have my swimsuit on. Or your uh, inflatable my, thing. My floaty. I want to put that in perspective, folks. Like, I don't know if I can take my 172 off in around 200 feet on a good day. Just be real about what we're seeing here today. Really, really nice. Beautiful evening here at Lakeland Linder Airport. Sun and fun. Paradise City 2021. We're going to be flying powered paragliders and powered parachutes at 7.15 tomorrow morning right here at this runway. If you'd like to see the powered paragliders, powered parachute, as well as John Moody in the Easy Riser. He's the grandfather of ultralights here in the United States of America. John Young in the Aviat Husky. That's a scratch for John. Next up is Amir Bayani in the Super Cub. His previous landing distance was 159 feet. He was able to improve his takeoff this time, so we'll see if he can do that at the landing. He's low and to your left. He's going to drag that in. Goal is to get the aircraft as slow as possible. I like the red paint job. Nice. He got in. If he can get it stopped. That's Amir Bayani in his... Amir Bayani with a beautiful red Super Cub. I like it too, Paul. I like it. But I'm from Wisconsin. I'm a Badger fan. So I got to like. Well, I feel for you. I feel for you. You know, we do one thing really well, and that's the University of Wisconsin Marching Band. Moak. John Wisdom. Scratch. Wisdom. Probably the guns on the wings weighing him down on that one. I don't know about that. John Wisdom. Next up is Jay Stanford in the JS Super Cup. He had an excellent takeoff a little while ago. Yeah, Jay, Jay Stanford is just devastating in the takeoffs this round or this tonight. Uh, very, very consistent 60, 61, and 63 feet. And all of his landings have been right around 100 feet. So let's see what he does. So it looks like Jay Stanford is on tonight. Let's see if he drops it in. And he did. That's in the 80-foot range, isn't it? We'll see what that was. 
Jay Stanford. That was Jay Stanford, and you were close, Paul. You were close. with He was in at 91 feet. That was his best landing tonight. I must have looked at that crosswise. I thought he was about 80 feet. Here comes Bigfoot, low and slow. Jay Jolly dropping nice. it in. That's the Carbon Cub. Everybody likes Bigfoot. I think next up, yep, Swamp Monster coming in. Going to scare you. That's a great paint job on that 1976 Woody's Pusher, isn't it? You really like I like that, too. I like all the words on it. Well, he says he's bad to the bone right on the side of the aircraft. That means something. Also down impressively. So it's a 184-foot landing for Bigfoot. Swamp Monster coming in, beat the other monster, 179-foot landing there. But a uh, longer takeoff for Tony Zorn, so Jay Jolly would be besting him in terms of the monsters. This Chuck Kingberger. He says it's good. Pretty short landing, too. Looks like the 80-foot range. I like this. Let's do it. We're playing the prices right now. I was going to guess closer to 75. 76. I guess you owe me a Coke or a Pepsi or whatever you guys drink down here in Florida. I drink water. Okay, you owe me a water. It's cheaper for me. <laughs> ben Anderson in the Carbon Cub on floats. You could hear him get on the power to try to bring that one home, but it just wasn't enough. If you find a silver laptop, someone's lost a silver laptop, please bring it here to the media center. Their owner would like to get it back. Thank you very much. Silver laptop they've lost. This is the shiniest aircraft you're going to see. 1955 Cessna 180. Warren Gobilar in the touring class. So again, you're going to see more, in some ways, some more impressive performance because you've got a heavier aircraft. There's a Here's the parade of everybody. Wave and smile at your favorite pilot as they pass by the reviewing stand, everyone. John Young, Amir, John Wisdom, Jay Stanford, Jay Jolly. Tony Zorn, Ben Anderson, and Chuck Kingsberger. There's Jaden coming across in her carving cup. Steve Henry and the Highlander. He's happy tonight. That's really an open cockpit, isn't it? Yeah, for yeah, today for sure. <laughs> and Levi and the Kid Fox. Warren let me ride his electric bicycle around the campground last night. So, so, so how'd that go? I didn't die. That's important. That's a young aviation. Yeah, there's That's John, John young. young right there. Amir Bayani. John Wisdom. And Jay Stadford. Jay Jolly. Tony Zorn. Ben Anderson and Chuck Kingberger. All in a line. I love to see the parade of aircraft. Don't you crowd? Isn't it nice to see him up close? Get to wave, get some reactions from him as you cheer their favorite pilot as they come by. He's halfway out of the aircraft there, everybody. He wants to say hi. Hey, hey, hey. You've either got to S-turn it or put your head in the breeze. I just love the smell of airplane exhaust in the afternoon. How about you all? Warren Gobelar up on the line. 
Here goes Warren. Next up, Sheldon Hetherington in the 182. Juliet model. Andrew Patry. Andrew Patry from Ellsburg, Washington. He's in a 1953 Cessna 182B. Let's see him go. You're going to have to put some new grass down on that. That's not bad for 1958, is it? It's not, it's not bad for anything at all. Here comes Bobby Kerr. Bobby Kerr is from Jefferson, Georgia. Jefferson, Georgia. That's where my sweetie's from. No kidding. There you go. Very good showing for Andrew. Looks like we're going to try to get some of the light experimental aircraft off the line real quick. I just love it how they stand that tail back up like that. They really stand the tail up, don't they? I really enjoy that part of uh, tailwheel flying. I did my training in a J3 Cub, and one of the coolest feelings in the world is uh, popping that tail up and heading down the runway on your mains. Just from style points, didn't really help me with the girls at all, but uh, I hoped it would. I felt cool. Here at Lakeland Linder Airport, Sun and Fun, Paradise City, 2021. And we've got that Warren Gobelar coming back, it looks like. Warren Grobel. <laughs> wow, I butchered his name that time. Warren's coming in. Excellent job for Warren there. Getting it stopped. 215, maybe? Yeah, around there. You know, I should talk about Warren tonight. You know, the, the lack of paint may also be a strategic choice. There's a lot of weight and paint on an aircraft that size. Of course, you have to get people to clean it for you. Well, he's got kids, so maybe he puts his kids to work. That helps. Here's Sheldon, right? Sheldon Hetherington in. Trying to get her stopped. Cessna 182. Looks real pretty in the sunset there. Andrew should be coming up next. That's Andrew Patry in his 1958 Cessna 182B. Let me catch you up on some of the scores here. Warren Grobelar, takeoff 190, landing 220. Sheldon Hetherington, takeoff 361, landing 4. 51. Here comes Andrew Patry, takeoff 234. What can he do? He's in. We're going to get a score on that one. He's longer than the others, but he's doing good. I think he'll be shorter than Sheldon. That should move him up in the standings. What do you think, Ryan? 281 on that landing, so longer than uh, Warren's landing, but well be, uh, below Sheldon's landing this round. Bobby Kerr coming in in the mall. That's the red and white aircraft coming in on final right now. He's wearing a shirt today that says something like, hey, Mom, don't worry, I'm just going to the mall. Ooh, made just it. Just in, just in. A little burst of here. power. These are highly skilled pilots, you'll have to say. Very highly skilled. 
It's all about putting in the time, knowing your machine. Again, a big thanks to our sponsors for the Nas Husky National Stole Demo here at Sun and Fun. Sponsored by Gulf Coast Avionics, Southern Cubs, SWT Aviation, Boomerang Air, and the local Cub Crafters dealers here. Aviat Aircraft, of course, AirTech Coatings, American Legend Aircraft, Lag Gardner Aviation Insurance, and last but not least, Acme Aero. If you'd like to see powered paragliding, that's going to commence right after this. That'd be powered paragliding right here at Paradise City. Right after they clear the field, we'll be doing powered paragliding and maybe some powered parachutes. We'll have to see who else is going to fly right here at Paradise City Runway. So, folks, if you're here at Sun and Fun, make sure to come check us out tomorrow night. Same stole place, same stole time. My name's Ryan Dombrowski from Super Aero on YouTube. You want to come watch some great aviation interviews. And I'm and Paul Zarnicki from the Paradise City Media Team here at Sun and Fun. We'll be glad to have you back tomorrow and check it out. But you can always stay and check out the Powered Paragliding. It'll commence right after this if you want to stick around. You don't need to get out in all that traffic, do you, Ryan? No, no rush. And, and I would just want to say, Paul, to you, thank you for letting me share the booth with you tonight. Pleasure. No problem. I thank you very much, and you're most welcome anytime. The Husky National Stole Series is presented by Aviot Aircraft. Proudly made in Afton, Wyoming since 1940. Find a new Aviot Husky at aviotaircraft.com. AirTech Coatings. We make paint fly. American Legend Aircraft Company. The Legend Cub takes you more places than ever before. Lad Gardner Aviation Insurance. Aviation protected. Acme Aero. Land where you want. Southern Cubs. SWT Aviation. Boomerang Air. Your local Cub Crafters dealers. Gulf Coast Avionics. Your avionics equipment store.